Shout out to Miriam Sangovia. Who that I, is? That is. Check this out. I'm finna educate you. Miss Miriam, uh, she's a 60 year old, 60 some year old woman. She is a police. She is the director, executive director of a police union. And um, she has been arrested for drug trafficking, fentanyl. And um, I seen in the article she hadn't got like six deliveries to her house about it. It was a bigger scheme. It was a part of a bigger scheme that was supposed to be involving distributing this in the United States or whatnot. But uh, man, that that was crazy to me. Um, Big shout out to her. That just you know that reminded me of this show. Uh, <laughs> that reminded me of this show. Uh, Mayor of Kingston, just, that just go to show you, man, these, it be corrupt out here. Mm-hmm. That's. Now, so she was the. Um, executive the director. In what, in what city, what state? I want to say this was California. Mm. And she was bringing in fentanyl. Yeah. I hate to say this like this, but I feel like, like, that's not really, like, that's not, to me, that's not breaking news. Because, like, that been going on. Like, they've been doing that. Like, like NWA in the 90s said, you know what I'm saying, guns come from Russia, drugs come from Colombia. And they say all of that is in the hood, and ain't none of us got no passport. Thank you. We ain't, we not going out there. We not, we not getting this. This shit is coming from somebody who can go out there and go get that. It's just like, like that Rick Ross situation. Yeah. CIA had that. He had them in his back pocket. That's the only way they could have got over here. We ain't got no boats. Booster told you the mayor ain't your friend, he enemy. Hey, how many huh? of them things she was bringing in? How many of them things she, what they called a witch? Boxes, uh, boxes was coming to her house. Um, uh, she was getting deliveries from pharmacies to her house. About six deliveries. I don't know exactly how much fentanyl was. From the, from the pharmacy? Yeah. Where you think this stuff, where you think it come from? I don't know, I'm... Shit about shit. Just, oh yeah, man! When you the the... Shout out to her though, because she she got her severance though. She was doing her due diligence. That's part of that's part of what they want. She was doing her job. You said shout out sixty, six or something. Yeah, she, that's privilege. That's privilege. That's that white privilege. That fit their agenda. They had to fire her because it looked good on camera. Um. <laughs> <laughs> her being arrested, Trump then got indicted. Finally, um, I don't, y'all seen that? How y'all? They didn't. What exactly is he going to jail for? That's what I wanted. I was just gonna ask that. The, 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 the type of shit. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. What's do the guy have to do with the votes? <clears throat> no, I don't think he got nothing to do with the votes. Per se. I'm not all the way sure, but I know um, he's guilty. Man, you know he had paid a paid a lady off. Stormy Daniels. Yeah. All right. Sure, he missed. Sure. Okay, so during the election, they got him like on some tech, like on some business. Like they got that going on all type of shit. Man. They got some shit. I believe it to be that he was using campaign funds to pay off his whatever he had going on with the young lady. Yeah, shout mm. out to Trump, man. Free Trump. Man. He going free Trump. Free Trump. Yeah, free Trump, man. Shit. He didn't. His. Yeah. His little allegiance, his minions ain't come through for him this say, time. Say, check me out. I <laughs> he, learned he, something with politics he, with Trump. He screamed know? his war call a week ago, two know? weeks ago. It ain't work. I learned that I'd rather... That nigga Trump told me... <laughs> he ain't even running there. Like, at least we knew what Trump was on. Like, we knew shit. He gonna press the button if them people come fuck with us. He know... He trying to let business thrive and shit. He ain't going... That little slogan. Like niggas. Trump yeah. fed... I don't know. How Biden feel, you hear me? Trump fed the trenches, too, though. He put that, he put that money in the hood. You know what I'm saying, um, man? Shit. He opened the floodgates up. Well, well, kind of, but at the same time, <laughs> no. See, that is the downfall with Trump. Because he was trying to do shit like get rid of food stamps and make us pay them student loans back. But... He had the market good. So, like, if you did have a little bit of money, you know, you could invest. And, like, you know, the market was better when he was in office. He ain't getting rid of them food stamps, my nigga. Right. He probably, but he want to, though. Like, he don't want to fund the hood, though. Like, he, he a businessman, bro. And to be honest with you, the money that they putting into, 
like all that Section A and stuff like that. That to, to people like Trump, that's a waste of money. Mm-hmm. Let me, they don't want to do that. Let me ask you this: How many people you know sell their food stamps and still be hungry after the fact? Shit, I done bought plenty of food stamps. Damn, what I asked you. I, I'm saying like a oh, which way? How mean? many people you know sell their food stamps and still be hungry after the fact? Like that's crazy. And even in an example like that. Look, I, I can't even say what I was going to say. He's going to be mad. When you look at, looking at it like that, I can see him trying to take food stamps. Motherfuckers sell that shit. And but you got to think about yeah. it, though, man. Them people been trying to cut off shit that they fund. Like, yeah, they you know are. What I'm saying? Like, they been trying to... But see, I know, like I like, like Trump. They always try to cut food stamps on anything government system-wise. Right. That shit not happening, though. But see, I like, but see, I no, like Trump because, like, that little slogan he got, make America great again, like, he really on that type of time. Like, he ain't really, he ain't friendly with these other countries. Like, he ain't, this bitch not up for sale as long no, as Trump is in no. office. I feel like these other presidents, they too friendly with these other countries. Like, they too, they letting, they letting, they letting a lot in and that, a lot nah, of problems come up behind that. Before we leave off Man, we ship. train the people who crashed the 9-11. Look, that, before we leave off that, how you feel about... Man, not being oh yeah, that's Russia, crazy. China, yeah. and a few other China, countries uh, leaving away from the American dollar. What that? What y'all? What does that mean for? But that I'm saying that like shit been going that way. That's when the um, the cryptocurrency shit come into play. You know they've been saying that our own that our our what it is our money system this shit like. You know, it's it's valueless. It ain't like it's gold. What do you think that means for us? Us not being the the top dog of the U.S. dollar. I mean, shit, we straight for another ten years. We just gotta get your What is ten years? That ain't a long time at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like. Nigga, probably good for another 10 years. You gonna, you gonna invest in gold? You gonna try to get something else than the dollar? Like, more value? You will have to. You will want to. they trying to say, yeah. Or, you know, cryptocurrency or... I think that's... The like, U.S. dollar Bitcoin been Bitcoin and all that shit. That's the world of, of the future. That's going with that, um, the AI shit. All that shit aligned to each other to to extent. Man, that AI going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? Call AT&T. You know, straight on, um, get the AI made on that bitch. Everyone. I'd rather them than the Yay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's like mm, nah. Well, why you rather yes. them than the Yay? Hello, hi. Oh, what yeah. did you need? Okay, <laughs> yeah. but I done had my days with them, but my mom in the custom. People out on the phone for not knowing how to speak proper 